seen so far between Ents and Navi yesterday and today. So, obviously it's still very Navi sided based on the form we're seeing, but this is, this is gonna be Big's comfort zone. Let's see if it's enough. So just so that they get a chance on overpass as map three, if they can connect the dots on dust two. Man, when is the last time Big played overpass? I feel like that does not come up that you often tell me. recently. Not just me. Tell the people. Right now, Navi just leaning on electronic to maybe peek around the corner into Cat. Smoke comes down first. Electronics inside it. Interesting spot for him to be in. Comes back around the edge. He's got players just breathing down his neck. He waits. Simple comes through with the kill. Searson just shoots Electronic out of it. And then that long split comes in wonderfully for Big. A two versus four. The bomb's up cat. So no need to take any kind of a gamble on the cross. Just a swap to the USP. And what should be a shoe in for Big. A great start. It looked like they were trying, Electronic was trying to like one way the smoke. I, I thought he was going to wait in it, but then it became too long. And he thought, all right, well, I've got a peek now. Looks like they're still going to attempt the retake. Okay. See what they can get. Inside, inside sight. Nice and easy. Searson and Tabson close out. And Big do, in fact, take pistol. Yeah. Some, just some very solid entries off of the setup smoke as uh, Electronic tries to one way it and. I think he's just shown. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was still waiting. Wow, how often do you see that? Someone getting revealed jumping over a smoke. Man, he was just so, so clear. As it well. just looked like there was like a dent in the top of it. Yeah. Maybe the smokes don't. Oh, my goodness. What if the smokes are what donuts? If the smokes don't have tops. What if they're donuts? Yeah. This whole time, we never knew. Never looked down at a smoke in the history of the game. Some people are thinking we're going to be serious right now. Yeah, yeah, they are, but... Spread those conspiracy theories. What could go wrong? Desert Eagle in the hands of Simple gets boosted up with the USPs coming in from CT. Okay, there's a chance here for one. <laughs> Tizzy and waits and waits and some good flashes. <laughs> when he finally regains vision, he's able to end most of this. Perfecto. Gonna die to the deeg. Oh, nope. Tabs and spams it away. And we get big. Nice and easy for the 2-0 start. Oh, okay. Use his whole mouse pad for that one. Here we have the buy, of course. Navi, no op for simple out of the gate. So, same can be said for Searson as he swings the scout. And of course, on Dust, too. You can pray for log spawns, but you can't get them every round. So Big will have to show their range. Oh. Yikes. Fabin. Aborts. Comes back at it. No follow up here though. Searson's Wait, turn. was Bit anchoring long and, and Boomich was mid B? Oh, okay. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I can't. I think Bit was anchoring long, but I actually can't remember. Okay. So, if, if that's the case, then we'll have two position swaps and SDY will. This will both be pressure on Bits if he's in a new position there, as well as uh, SDY. Now, of course, the anchor spots have mostly gone towards SDY, it feels like. And there is him finding a gap, actually, as they were just setting up for part of the long control with the split. Tabson will walk out. SDOI watching this, but he's got some nades to draw his attention. His support dies as well, so he probably can't do anything but die in this situation. Yeah, doomed as Tabson comes around the long corner. 
Nice utility damage. Holy hell. Searson Favin. Nearly shattered by the nade. But it's not enough to draw Simple into the action. Too much to lose here with the two M4s still up. So that's going to be Navi conceding a third big. Thought maybe SDY was going to be able to stop it once he got that kill towards Long Doors, but he gets drawn back towards the A site. He just needed his teammate in CT to get a kill or not die mm -hmm. to slow that down so he can look at the thing he was he was clearly focusing on. And simply too much is asked of him. Understandable death. Big 3-0 start. AK has been robbed. But that's where this one will get wrapped up. Three alive for Big, two for Navi. Still a scout in the hands of Searson, but that's not always a limitation. Uh, okay, never mind, he doesn't want it. <laughs> it didn't change rounds, did it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna buy an off anyways, so just screw it. Huh. You know, if Navi won't all have guns, then it's one weapon not in spawn that may get picked up. Risk assessment, launders. Risk assessment. Ooh, he crossed back. There's a playoff cat. One of the AKs here. Or the M4, sorry. Simples. Risk for him. He's got three weapons. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Just molly. touches the fire. Tries to take a couple steps forward instead. Dies for it. M4 changes hands into the electronic. SDY has the armor on site, so I assume that'll go over towards him. And now there's pressure towards him actually early. So he's got the deagle, and he dies out fast. Now electronic dies following him. No armor. Gets a kill at the very least. And Krimbo is taking names right now. He's owning. He's got bit wrapped up as well, so... Krimbo hits the impact. Big. Hit the ground running on Dust2. So T-side good for the 4-0 start. Thought maybe Simple could offer us something there, but that Molotov, just a death sentence as Krimbo jumps back up on these boxes. Sits in the same spot all round, waits and waits, and owns them all. Three kills for Krimbo. As we'll get Navi back with a buy. So here's Simple's first op of this map. Searson was looking for those duels. And he still is. Actually, fast long control. And uh, no one's pushing in through tunnels. They are starting to stack over towards the B site. No split here, so... They can go and take over Cat if they'd like to. Quietly clumped. Smoke down for Simple. Bit. Good for the first one. Simple comes back around. That's bomb drop. Things get awkward. Taps in team kills. Oh, And some Dai Young comes out from the corner. So that one just evaporate. Wow, that's harder than it looks. They shut him down. They go for the deep CT. Electronics right here. And he's dead. So that's uh, an evacuation route for Searson if he wanted to take it. But instead, he doubles back just in case he could catch one on the corner. You know, and then suddenly you're in a one versus two and maybe you take your chance. But nothing will be given to them. They've got the bomb. You know, some die young and simple again around where uh, they hit all the impact. We had Bit, of course, offering up kills, but Maybe it's Tabson, really, who impacts it the most. Some die young. His enemies used as his meat shield for Navi's first round win. Yeah. Actually, I feel like I'm crazy. Boomich is their long anchor, right? Boomich was their long anchor. Yeah. I think Bit was their... Bit was definitely mid-B and supporting uh, and playing flex with Perfecto. So like I haven't watched Navi play Dust 2 in a minute, but okay. So that means only one thing. Well, one thing has changed, basically. So the rest of the map is actually more comfortable. Yeah. 
Only one round, but a solid round. A solid start. Searson back to the hunting grounds. Oh, he wow. hits a bit. Doesn't get the kill. I can't I can't believe that didn't kill him. That was crazy. That hits the leg. Oh, it is such a nuisance. Electronic goes for the jump shot. Small amount of damage done. Simple trying to set himself up. Fab and Tuck behind Xbox. Smokes to give the tease a bit of space and a weapon swap. Give Bit that AWP because he's so low. Haven't really seen much B action from Big, so I guess it's about time. Maybe. Nope. Not yet. We'll keep that one for a rainy day. CT's just put a smoke down on Cat, though. Someday Young gonna start crawling closer towards CT spawn. Allows for Electronic to just tuck into the goose. And Bit's gonna see nothing, nothing whatsoever on Long. What's Crimbo up to? Well, they're stopping the rotations, but there's already three towards the A site. SDY can get crawled up under from, yeah. and oh, he's been very aware of this fight, but Bit goes down behind him. Then once again, he's overstressed. One in Goose. And that's Electronic. Double kill. Just as they started to get it going. Oh, and Crimbo, he gets caught trying to come up. Oh, not enough time. Wow. He needed that insta kill on Electronic. And then Bomb can be picked up and planted. But Electronic on Goose, the third player on that A site. I love the, you know, CT creep comes up. Some die young goes down. Looked like Big had their entrance, but they didn't get the follow through. They not with Electronic locking this out. Yeah, I think they read into this as a 2-1-2. Two -two. I guess seeing Simple Cross, and they were unclear with the door action that happened. Bit taking the first frag. Uh, and Electronic and Goose, man, three frags. Let's actually, you know, it would have been fine for Big otherwise. I got the first two entries. They thought they were winning. And since it's two in a row, it's an eco for Big. A chance for Navi. Triple smokes in the Mac 10. Big. Maybe can piece out together, but some die young's just left in pit. Thought maybe Tizian would come take a chance. To reiterate, no B play. Now it really looks like we're going to get one. But uh, they're going to try to keep it simple. And honestly, no mid play at the moment. So just get your two kills inside B site. Rotates quite far off. Simple still on the cross of long. Big have set this up nicely. They've timed it, but you've got to actually get into this bomb site. And Perfecto, he's got other ideas. Dies out to Favin. Dink versus Bit's going to make his job a little harder, but it's just him versus two. And he's got this nice little pocket that he created for himself. T side took <laughs> down his rotator before Bit is found. And then Simple does get in in time. So Bit <laughs> just, you know, sticks to the wall, hides, buys time, and wins the round for Navi to get themselves just one shy of tying this game at four. Yeah, pretty much perfectly played. I mean, they get a counter flash off. They get Perfecto first frag before the smoke even comes out. I mean, great sequence from him. Fit with the perfect support and also staying alive, going unnoticed, and finding one of the uh, two kills left in the site. Three straight, another buy coming in. Simple shoots. Let's him know what's on the other side of that dungeon door. Navi really chilling this game. I mean, they did a couple of plays into mid, but not, not much to do with lower control. No upper B pushes, even versus long. And, oh, Perfecto dies kind of deep into his angle, over faces before the smoke comes up. And Bit replenishes his position, you know, locked into the right side. 
Electronic. Oh, honestly, if he went slower, he probably has an advantage to see Tizian, but a nice off angle still. And that'll make it a 5v3. But we have seen big kind of end to the wrong side a couple of times. Op is up over on the A site. Looks like this time will be different. Tapson's already kind of setting himself up to catch rotators. Yeah. All eyes on bit. Big moment for him. Pops up from Carr with nothing. Ooh. So Tizian low, just like Krimbo. And it's the B site here, the way of big. So Searson doing a good job. Tucks into the deep corner of tunnels. We see the Perfecto fight versus Krimbo. He tries to, you know, he gets drawn out by it, right? He's fighting Krimbo on one side, and then Searson snips him down from the other end. So kind of... Yeah, Perfecto doesn't realize he's cross already. Yeah. Layers there for big inside of the tunnels for them to net themselves uh, what felt like a good opening, right? Mm -hmm. And they sat, they waited, they came back at it with numbers, with a potential mid anchor in the form of Tapson. They didn't need any type of support. They just followed through, killed the car player. Bit gives us nothing. And Navi, no lead just yet. They're not even tied. It's a 5 3 to the T side. Yeah, that became a situation where Bit needs three kills for the retake to be even possible. So a solid position overall. Nice entry from Tizian to make sure they don't lose any players. And they open up towards this, I guess some would say the harder side of the map. I don't know. You know, if we're changing bomb radiuses, and if you can no longer save inside of pit on Inferno A site... Why didn't they do it for B site dust too? Exactly. We just watched a guy save on car with bomb planted on his side of window. It took like 45 damage. Just I agree. saying. I agree. At CSGO. Consistency. Ooh, they'll break apart. This was clearly going to be a B rush. Bomb coming this way. All five players in tunnels. I mean, they could set up and just hit it if they'd like to. We're going to make sure the close spots are fine just as the smoke comes up. They've got vision. Exec coming down. Electronics got the memo. He starts to walk on over. But they here approach time. with tre trepidation. It eats a couple flashes. We've got Perfecto in a little smoke pocket. Tabson just gets railed by a bit. And now Perfecto's chance to come through wow. with support off Electronic. It's two kills on the backside. Searson, no chance to get into the mix. Oh, the peak finally comes through once he looks away. And now that he runs away, reality sinks in here for big. Navi on their heels yet again. It feels like an aberration. The one round that Perfecto dies in that awkward spot. Tucked into the left side. Outside of that, between him and Bit, they've been getting their utility out. They've been getting to good spots. They're both fragging really well. So, yeah, quite scary, I think, for Big. Seriously, with 11 health, can he even hang on? He's got SDY back above him. Yeah, that's the end of that. So, no rifles held. Look Here's Bit killing Tapson. Just, damn. Just always has to be a headshot with this guy. Right. Nice tracking. But yeah, look how solid Perfecto is. One thing that was cool in the interview with Blade was like, he's like, the way he kind of put it implied that if Perfecto was on a different team, he'd be a star player. And he said that with some time. I think he really just sees a lot in Perfecto. And uh, he, I think he also said that he is a player that he kind of gets better the more desperate the situation is. Like when there's a lot of pressure on him as a sight anchor or in the clutch, for example. So we know he was like a... Uh, Clutch God for Navi at one point. But wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, we'll be able to walk into this, dodge the flash. They have smoke to support, a rifle to escort him out of danger. And he knows there was more of a rumbling up in tunnels than just that one player in Favin. So B Anchor is going to lock themselves into their spots. This time Perfecto changing it up a bit. Op on Platt. That could mean we get the... Perfecto versus Searson op duel. Taps in the first one to get around the corner. Smoke at the front of all this. Tons of utility Ooh. damage. And Perfecto laying down lead. Here comes Bit with a bomb dropped in front of him. Searson yet again, last man in and yet again dead as Navi clamp down on everything they can. Sweep away Big in its entirety. Dude, this I, game is suddenly tied. Yeah, I mean, they've been... They have, like, Navi haven't gone deep mid control that much at all. 
kind of surprised they've saved it for so long. Uh, and they just toss it in now. And it's the perfect garnish on the rounds. And look at that pre aim from Perfecto. He kind of reads the exact perfectly. Pops up after getting his first kill. And B is closed once again and bit, <laughs> bit with the opening with an up. And a second one. Tabson going to kill Simple with a Deagle in the meantime, but <laughs> Simple didn't even have the off there. <laughs> Bit locking in angles. SDY finishes off Tizian. It feels like when Robs gets the off, you know? Ooh, Grimbo's with a Deag too. He doesn't always off, but when he does. Like, we, like Robs doesn't get to op too often because then he'd make Brokey look bad. That's True. What telling you. Exactly, yeah, because he doesn't miss. I can't believe they took away one of Brokey's temple doors. Dude, that was it, his spot. That was, was his thing. It was a Brokey nerf. They don't want the phase era. They nerfed Brokey. And we know it's because Robs is actually CSGO. He kind of did, did that to his own team. That's interesting. You know? Yeah, he's always wanted to be an opper. Trying to give himself more space. True. I'm on to you, cool. That is right. six of the last seven coming out of Navi and a buyback from Big that gets kind of stuffed off the start. They wanted to go for long fights off spawn and they get met by two mollies. Yes, they do. It's probably going to be the scariest point here. Yeah, all the nades get disrespected. And SDY is not playing inside a pit here. But... They're close door, off cat with the op, and Bit and Simple are both on the A site, holding the AWP. This frag could be big. Oh, yeah, sure monster enough. Monster nade. 83 damage between the two, and electronic kills Tabson. That's the bomb stop for a second. Oh, dizzy. Nice shot. Let's go. Tries to gun him down the catwalk, but... Simple, the second op in position with that flash. He comes around and cools off Searson. Four versus two, very comfortable here for Navi. Simple going to keep up the pressure, trying to extend into Cat. He knows that there's one close. That's Crimbo in smoke, but nice distraction. Favin comes around the corner. He's trying to tap for that third. Simple, well aware that he's being chased, but still dead. And this could be the recovery set up by the young guns of Big. A bomb plant for Crimbo. As he looks to finish off this 1v2, he's got a ton of util, but he puts the smoke on the corner of sight, and he's going to be in the open for the peak. Oh. Perfecto slides by, and Navi lead by two. The one guy that can counter Krimbo in the clutch. Perfecto, of course. <laughs> Barrels up cat. That was a very funny round. Thought Simple was going to get the kill. Uh, there's a spot where they come close to winning it, of course. But look at this. I mean, there is a flash assist. Make no mistake. The kill feed does lie. Solid round of the simple tack timeout called here for Big as they're starting to lose their grip a little bit. Navi getting comfortable. Solid versus the B execs. Solid out towards long. Opening kills on mid. And they're they're not being as charitable with the amount of map control right now for the big clan. They're starting to actually ramp it up in terms of how much space they want early on, which is a cool thing to say for later in the half because if that's where Big were finding success, well, now that's now a problem. Nothing fast is successful. CT side mid doors, a uh, warm welcome. We get no action back, not a peep out of Navi. Barring that utility down on long doors. Electronics not tucked into goose, but rather just posted up, ready for the fights off cat. Simple's here too. And the run boost comes around as smoke goes down. Ooh, Frag grenades God have been damn. great. At least three rounds now. We've seen like 100 damage done yeah. between two players. They're like, 
sinking battleships over here. Not knowing about this unconfirmed damage. But it seems to always result in a kill later. I might shy away, away from long. I was actually wondering why Navi weren't doubling up on long more often. And now they're in this position, of course. It's once again another spot where I think it's just very hard for Big to get the info. They haven't heard Simple Issued is off. They haven't seen any action around the door. I don't know if they have any tells right now that could lead them towards the B split. But I think Navi feel like they've earned some respect on that side of the map. But they find it. Oh, but the off angle is so good. Simple misses the shot, sees the player fall down. There's, There's no, no time. time. Wait, what? They weren't even close to being able to plant that bomb. That actually, they just sent Tizian to die. They like, they trolled them. They're like, jump off this bridge. You won't. Yeah, we'll all do it after. <laughs> Go first, bro. Wait, what the hell? They actually had no idea how little time they were. They had. I also didn't, so. No, but just because by the way they were playing, I thought they were still cool. 12 seconds, and they sent Krimbo out mid as well. Thought we were cool, bro. Just to sell the fake. There's literally, wow. Starting to maybe get a little lost in the sauce. Yeah. But what exactly happened? I mean, they were looking good at first. And they talk about German efficiency. <laughs> yeah. It's a myth. Full white. Bobbin comes back to reality, still alive. That, that was interesting too, because it wasn't 5v4. There wasn't any mid push. There was no players. They had to get out of position. There's no player in pit. They were just seeing what he could do. They had the map to themselves. Navi are kind of leaving them to their own devices once again, saying, make your move. So they get ahead of it. It's a little bit quick. Timing doesn't pay off. Not for big. Oh, simple. Locks in these kills easily alongside Electronic. They just can't get through that. Every time they come close, wow. Electronic's either hiding in corners or this time just holding his ground. Straight up looking for the fights and the fights that big simply can't win. I feel like you could have precipitated an you know, eight round half here for big based on the first four rounds, how well they were playing. I, but now they're starting to play worse, and Navi are just continuously showing a good face. Their sight holds are solid. They're out aiming big at every turn. It feels like they've got two players entering a site when they have five, and there are just no trades here. Flashes aren't doing much. Was there even a molly on the ramp? I'm not sure. Once again, there isn't anything special in the first 30 seconds or so from Navi. They, they're playing 3-2. Uh, Sometimes 2-1-2, two, two, keep an eye on the doors for any fast kind of mid-play. Punish suicide, whatever it is. Outside of that, they're waiting. This really couldn't be any easier towards the end of the first half. Of map 2 for Na'Vi. For a chance to eliminate big, right? Damn. Send them packing from another spring slash fall finals right big is the team that always gets to these events through the groups never the showdowns and they just can't quite deliver simple hunting as tabson gave him the tracers simple on high alert now he's got four more players to face him how many does he take down here puts out the fire Ooh, goes right back, down goes Tizian, up close! Oh. Crimbo gets rocked, Fobbin finds the support kill, but simple! Oh man, almost just the ace. He does everything he has to though, sucks the life right out of this T-side, Electronic puts it to the back of the head, and that's another one for Navi. Every step of the way, Navi make this look easy. Double digits on a CT side, and a potential to end this series quick. You actually can become super hero. Really cool game. Uh, I've, I've been jump scared a bunch of times. And I'm not gonna stop. When you are in the moment of killing someone. And there's no working matchmaking anti-cheat. 
Uh, on my Steam account, I have 11,500 hours. I spent uh, 12,000 hours playing it. CSGO, um, 13,000 I want to say, somewhere around there. Well, I have like 12,000 hours, so... CSGO is uh, truly an amazing game. The worst thing about it is that when you start, you're probably going to be really trash at the game. You're not going to have any fun. I would even go as far as to say that this game could be like a scary game sometimes. Uh, I've, I've been jump scared a bunch of times, like just not ready for the opponents to be there and they're there. And there's no working matchmaking anti-cheat. But then the best part is that when you actually start getting better, you're going to have a lot of fun. A uh, scary game. I'd have to say thumbs up. You learn a lot from this game. A tilting game. Overall, if you stick with it, thumbs up. A happy game. The only thing I've managed to achieve so far is lose 12,000 hours. Thumbs down. <laughs> well, basically all of the emotions you can have. I think I'll give it a thumbs up, for now at least. I played uh, around 20,000 hours. On CSGO, I think I have 12k hours. I've got like about 15,500 hours in CSGO. Yesterday I reached 10,000 hours. CSGO is the best FPS game in Steam. I played for like 14 hours and I started at 6 years old. You can do everything you want. Very nice game to play with friends. You can win one of five, you can communicate with your teammate. Enjoying the moment when you are in the, in the moment of killing someone. <laughs> in the game, obviously. Everything you make, if you are confident, you gonna be right. You can have a really good fun with any weapon in this game. I'm not gonna stop, I'll just continue. <laughs> a big thumbs up. So, let's go, you can do everything you want, In you can be brilliant. That's why I love CSGO. So it's simple and complicated at the same time, so it's very nice to watch and also to play. Thumbs up for sure. You actually can become super hero. You'll enjoy it. Really cool game. Because he whiffed on the last guy. Oh, don't say it. Oh, don't he, say it. He didn't hit the, the free one at the end, man. But that is uh, one round to show exactly how much Simple has changed it up since yesterday. He's put on he's put on shorts, actually. He's not wearing pants. And so now that his legs are aerated, I think he is fully focused and in the zone. Honestly, I think it's about being aerodynamic. It's like air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. He Simply can, faster. That's yeah. why you wax your legs. His rotations have looked good. I don't spread misinformation. I've never done that. That it looks really painful. <laughs> <clears throat> the things we do for beauty. I guess. Here we go. Second pistol. Double flash SDY. Smoke on electronic. Like we have a point nine eight. I think rating for simple to this point, but like this rating could be so high, it, we, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know that he struggled yesterday. It waits for them to push, and as they do, Favin, he has to pay the price. Oh? Good flash, but Krimbo regains enough vision and has a good corner to hide in. Ooh, Not bad. Himself another kill here. Crimbo gonna go hard. Three Yo. frags. USP up close on doors, and that is Navi majority dead, but still with footing inside B site, and still Ooh. simple fights. But Crimbo, get the ace. Do what simple couldn't. Perfecto, hands busy behind the tall box. Oh, Crimbo, he's gonna get cut down at four. So now let's watch Perfecto go into the one v three. Already with the first one, he's got the players pressuring through the doorways. A second kill from Perfecto as he gets gushed to 40. 
and it's just a matter of a headshot, oh, okay. but Tapson decides not. Big <laughs> We'll take second pistol. Imagine you get the first four kills and lose. That's what almost happened just now. Perfecto got close, but look at how hard he had to fight, man. And he Still was actually blind. Yeah, he was super blind. It looks like he just fired while he was full flash. Of course, on the stream, it doesn't look half as uh, as half as blind as he probably did on his. So what a round from Krimbo, man. Hard angles to fight there. Felt like he had to do it. And after his teammate died pushing mid, really got the revenge. How'd they get a tire on the roof? Sometimes, I don't know, maybe they threw it out that little window. Uh. You know? Do a lot if you put your mind to it. I should try it sometime. You can do it. Put your back into it. Evan lets one cross. Let's two cross, in fact. Some die young, just walks it in. Perfecto blinded, but that's at least footing for Navi on catwalk. Now you just got to peek with a deeg and rock somebody's socks off. Doesn't happen. Krimbo, he gets the kill on simple instead. And that's the big gun down for Navi. It'll be picked back up. Perfecto hands on it. Met by a smoke, things going to have to wait. How much is this knife? What was it? A ruby bit. Pull it out again. A ruby stat track. Karen bit. Oh man, that's uh, eight and a half schmeckles. I don't know the conversion. Searson Scout follows up. Two shots, one kill. And they're going to get fed to Tabson. Mm, gobbles him up. Two kills, three to the Farmus alongside Favin. What do you think his favorite food is? Whose? Tabson. Mm, cats? No. What? Tab tabby cats. Oh, tabby cats. <laughs> He's just out there catching strays. Cat meat. No, man. Probably something fancy. I feel like burgers Tapson's got the class. Oh, that's Searson for you, folks. Wow. That's what Searson does. That's what he does. He has a scout. He'll do that. Yes. He has the, the blue spruce goat. Oh, you think you're simple? Oh, you are simple? He's still going to snatch it away from you. So, beauty of a shot here from Searson. Little impact straight away from big CT side. Favin's going to play close Humvee. Tucks in. He's got a player on left smoke. Completely Whoa. loses track he is, of that. Yeah, he's so far in there. And he actually backed up. Oh, Bit. He gets over top of it. Favin had just cleared that for Searson. And Bit gets away. Wow. Oh, gets away with murder and his own life. That is nuts. That is crazy. He Layers like in the B site. I don't even know how he got up on double after being inside of the smoke and backing up. And all SDY finds his. But Tizian, he pushes around long doors. They've still got two players over towards tunnels. This is crazy because Bit is backing up, but Electronic has the A site. He dropped in a CT. They're splitting B. The CTs are rotating off to the wrong site. The only way possible they don't run into a T. And Navi have found it. A complete split. And they are following in the tailwind of Electronic to the wrong area of the map. They have no idea what's going on, and I don't blame them. Oh, they still think there's a guy in Goose. We call that the bamboozle. Wow. And look at this. They all meet up Big after their long and arduous journey. Frazzle-dazzled. That's crazy, man. That was a series of unfortunate events and outplays, actually. They're still by, hunting him. By Big, yeah. He has to be here. Or against Big. Watch this. Ooh. Damn. You love to see it if you're Searson, but it's so. I, I so want to know tricky. if they did this somehow on purpose where, you know, coming to clear out the lurk smoke is normal. It would be obviously super high level if he did something like that, but he, he walked into the forwards, into the lurk smoke instead of just playing around it. And I know you can't really know for sure if that was cleared at that moment, but maybe he knew based on a demo. I don't know, but he backed up at the perfect time. Rotator had no idea that was coming. And Bit gets his kill. It's tough because you go, you go clear that smoke, that's good information, right? I mean, you, for sure. No, I, I love that he played it actively. Over a long period of time, you, you would rely on that call and it would work out for you. 
and just hide in the corner. Didn't let Bit do that for free. He, he did what he was supposed to do, but just a little bit of mistiming. And uh, Bit's allowed to capitalize. Right out long goes SDY. Back to the bench goes Favin. Five versus four immediate here for Navi, looking to get that 12th round with a five-round lead. Also, SDI hit some kind of quake spray jumping up on the Xbox. That certainly didn't help. Yeah. Big that. Oh, they fake, they fake kind of long control. They have long control, but they are gearing up for the B hit. And oh, Krimbo's getting spotted. He Puts can smoke, smoke him out down. of tunnels, but he knows. They know he has to go back. They know there's low numbers here. Oh, yeah. dangerous game here. But look who's coming, actually, to his stead. It's Tizian. Tizian's been consistent. Gets ahead of the flash. Ah, oh, but Bit just that much sharper. Frag grenade comes in from Cat, And they they still have the bomb outside long and the uh, potential to go back. Yeah, there's no rush here for Navi. I like that they get into the tunnels, kind of deal with what was going on, right? If, if there was no activity here, then we're talking big, having either cleared it out or maybe caught a couple kills. This is actually something that BNE did at the major that was really cool. Because everyone, when they get long control, they just go with five and they take it. Because the teaser advantage if they get long for free, that's normal. But okay, there's actually one more clash that could occur here. We don't have big over-rotating. Uh, they've stuck to their guns here, expecting the play to come back to long. Split might come down, but there's a timing for this rifle to put to peak. SDY, oh, wow. just owns Tabson up close. Look at the style on that. They heard the op shot, oh. they chased the opper, and Some Die Young is doing a fantastic job here in round 19. He really is. So many impactful kills. And for him, you know, he was six and 10 coming into this round, but then he gets that impact. and. I feel like we had that on Ancient yesterday as well when he wasn't putting up the most amount of numbers and, you know, struggling on an individual level. Numerically, nothing really to write home about, but then you get, like, round-winning multi-kills just here and the there wham -wham from SDY. For the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meditated wham. <laughs> Can you finish your point, man? <laughs> <laughs> My point is finished. You wound up. So is this French. <laughs> oh. Sorry, man. It was a good point. Thanks. I like to say nice things about SDY as well. Does look super calm. I mean, never looks uncomfortable. Shouldn't be. He's been playing Counter Strike for since he was three years old. Three years old. But he said he doesn't have memories from before seven. So none at could all. Could be the greatest gaslight of all time. Well, par his parents told him that he won a Counter Strike land and a Dota land before he was seven. Was he just like playing with the neighbor and it was a one v one? Or we need context. Get his parents on the line. But CT's... Oh my god, there's a guy still on car. Favin. Oh, the USP dink, dinks. Dink, Let's dink, go. Dink. He's got uh, he's got two down, but obviously an easily recoverable situation. Cue the Crimbo. Bomb has been planted. He's three bullets away from a round win. Only speaking facts. Three bullets and a 10 second defuse. Makes things a bit bleaker. Nobody's looking to come after him. Very impressed with the uh, T side so far from Navi. <laughs> <laughs> a warning shot that distracts him and allows for, perfect for Perfecto to just close this easily. So three Blade, up. Uh, Blade actually also mentioned that it was it's it's understandable to be not ready exactly for the new new Navi. I mean, even though they're the ones who are coming in prepared for things, teams don't know, for, for example, what positions SDY is going to play or what the new T sides are going to look like or what the particular style of electronics calls are going to be. So even though it's kind of probably harder for Navi is the ones who have to prepare all this stuff and execute it well, uh, there's there's a small advantage there when they play against new teams. Taps in and lower. Oh, Angry wants to fight, and fighting with Crimbo is perfect. Oh, yeah. three CTs are spotted. If they get out of this, Excellent. they're in a decent spot. But the kill simple. They have him locked in the left side. This will be an interesting fight. If he wins this, I mean, I don't, I don't care. It's not a major game of graffiti. It did feel like big. We're kind of, you know, slowly but surely 
trying to crank that dial. We get the, you know, attempt to fight inside tunnels two rounds ago. This one just comes straight out of the gate. You've kind of hit that, that, that moment where it's either do or die. You know, we're talking tournament life here. Loser goes home and three rounds away from being the losers of Navi versus Big. So they'll make sure to at least send Navi home bruised. This is a, this is a play that's become more and more common. It's harder to spot uh, lower. There are a lot of pushes that can be good. Lots of deep suicide smokes coming out from the CT side. So lots of great aggressive options. And it's something that Navi did not implore very often in the first half. So I'm not surprised to see Big try to partake. And I think they, like you said, could, should continue to. Even things like cat boosts, right? Which are, they're not antiquated uh, set tactics on the CT side at all. They're they're really evergreen, honestly. There's never been a point in time where they haven't been good. And Navi barely did those to try to get the early kills and lower. But I don't think that that's going to be the version of, of Counter-Strike we get out of big. I think they are going to be pretty proactive. Buy up comes in again. This game has a weird tempo of being like pretty quiet and then extremely chaotic. Yep. You know. All of a sudden. No spell specialty here for Searson, just pop on cat. Nade could be good. No. Damn. Bit of a dud. Kind of falls beyond electronic as he comes over the box. Even though some of the kills were in vain for Searson on map one, he did a great job, I think. You know, they didn't win the map, but I thought he was doing his part for sure. A little bit more quiet for him on Dust 2, which is a map. I think this and Nuke were probably the two most standouts for me. You know, around 2020, 2021, that kind of thing. So CT side is also where he is, I think, a specialist for sure. And unfortunately, they don't have a lot of rounds to lose. But if they start to get rolling, I'm sure he'll be a part of that comeback in a massive way. Him and Tizian a little quieter here. In fact, oh, there we go. Wow. That's what they were looking for off of the earlier nade, but it's inside of the tunnels that that one lands. Electronic going to do his thing towards mid. Krimbo under pressure, under fire. He's got two mollies on him. Absolutely charred. Taps and peeks in through window. Wait for the support to come out from CT, but as he goes for that second fight, some die young sticks it to him. And Favin just awaiting on the other side of the smoke. That's Navi just putting the slow squeeze, you know, a, a slow roast in the backside of B. Favin oh. gets around the corner, looking to hang on to the three weapons here for big, but that's going to be Navi. 14 rounds, a six round lead, a comfortable place to be in this series. As big getting dangerously close to elimination. Yeah. And not really leaving a mark on this tournament uh, overall. Coming close to winning their last series, but really not even looking close to being able to beat Navi. Even with semi competitive first, ha first halves, unfortunately, just, you know, Navi not losing control of the games. And this was a very strong B hits. There's just not that much resistance. Krimbo dies a quiet death in the back of the site. The double molly puts a ton of pressure on him. There's no door opper there. Seriously, was preoccupied up on cat. Not much to show for this match so far for big, unfortunately. Like you said, this match or the event. Yeah. Then again, you give him a you give him a handful more rounds yesterday, and we're talking about a big that just gets a gets a BO3 victory over top of Ents. And then we would have talked about them, and they would have given you know given more of a platform to sh impress, but. It's another event where they qualify and then we just don't get all too much. Assuming, of course, that they can't make this comeback happen. They've got the guns to do it here in round 23. Three players awaiting Navi on long. Tizian starts to head up Cat. He's going to join Krimbo in a bit of a mid-pinch. They'll find all of this for free. So we've got tunnels control, we've got Cat control, and soon, eyes on mid as well there's a chance perfecto goes back and catches crimbo that could end up being costly but so could the long hit from navi searson on high alert was the high ground now drops a little bit lower 
And with the smoke in front of him, he's still just gonna wait. He's changing position pretty back and forth. Shoots off the flash, finds nothing. Perfecto waiting for a top mid push for the tease, which means we're just gonna get this slow crawl closer and closer to the cross. Second set of smokes, they'll flash through it. And oh. they are playing anti, but somehow Bit still finds that. So much damage. Tizian, he hits some die young. He hits electronic. 32 health between the two of them. But no kills for Big to start this off. Searson tucked by Fox. Crimbo, a one and done. There's the offer with his impact. Taps and hit down to 80. Here comes oh. Perfecto, wrapping it back around mid. Searson, he's gonna get compromised, and he's all that's left. He tries to run in. SDY sends him packing. Wow. Navi, one step closer to the win. Yeah, that's a matter of outgunned right there. I don't even think Bit was playing anti-flash, right? It looked like three of them had to turn into the wall. Maybe Bit reacted in time. I don't know, but he he denies that. Yeah, he was playing anti. Oh, it's perfect then. Yeah, what, what coverage right there. Tizian did so much damage. He could have quickly killed one. Even that would have helped. And Searson gets called out in his, his position over at Elevator. Clearly doesn't have a smoke for himself to maintain control of that spot. And then the Perfecto cat split as well. And that's just a matter of getting outgunned, right? That's a spot where they're actually holding. If they win that, there's still odds. But yeah, in every sense of the word, they're they're kind of getting outplayed. Oh, that's too clean here for, for Perfecto. And the trades going the way of Navi, as every player from Navi here on Dust2 is playing well. It's a turnaround from yesterday, an unexpected Ooh. loss versus OG. Slow starts every map from Simple. Oh, they've already got them rotating out of mid. And pst, yeah, Electronic has their spawn now, so they can go up Cat. I don't know if they know about this, but they're about to find out. Yeah. Wow, the rotations have been fantastic. I mean, I don't know how much credit we can give to Electronic, uh, you know, I, I mean, he had to do a lot. He's the IGL. I think he's been doing a really great job. I mean, I'll just I'll just put it like that. I like the way that, that Navi are playing. It's super impressive. It's hard to see based on just this one game, you know, because I think we need more context, basically. For sure. Just simply put. Just oh. nice to know that we're going to get more from Navi. Wow. With victory here over top of Big, a 2-0 closed on Dust2 in convincing fashion. That one sends Big home, and we get... A much better Navi, a marked improvement Huge. from day one to day two on an individual level, on, on a team-based level. We just get a better version, and it's an unfortunate event for Big, of course. No God B behind them. Keto tries to come in and, and, and give them what they need, but uh, this one's Navi's, and this one's all too easy. We hand this back down to James Bank and Pimp standing by to unpack day, oh, match three.